we made a commitment to the people of Manitoba that we would put Manitoba on a positive path forward by rebuilding health care and by bringing in lower costs for you and your family. Today, we are delivering on that promise. $8.2 billion is budgeted for revamping health care. That includes hiring 1,000 more health care workers by this time next year, spending $65 million to reduce ER wait times, and $635 million on capital projects, including building the previously announced ERs at the Victoria Hospital and in Ericsdale. There are also promises for two new personal care homes in Winnipeg, one in Arburg, and the previous announced facility in Lac de Bonnie. Money has also been set aside for a supervised consumption site. It could open sometime next year. The Premier, confident Manitoba has the incentives to attract health care workers. Let's face it, we have a real competitive advantage in housing. Even a physician cannot buy their own home in Vancouver these days. But a nurse, a health care professional, a health care aide can still afford to buy a house here in Manitoba. On affordability, the province is extending the gas tax cut for three months, saving you about 14 cents a litre at the pumps. Tax credits are increasing for renters and seniors. MPI premiums are going down by 5%. Rebates are being offered for buying new and used electric and hybrid vehicles. And prescription birth control, as previously announced, will be free. One major change, in 2025, the school tax rebate and education property taxes will be axed in favor of a new homeowner's affordability tax credit that could save some homeowners up to $1,500. It will mean an extra $229 a year in savings for a home valued at $350,000. A home valued at $437,000 will be unaffected. Above that, it will start to cost more, up to $1,000 more for a home valued at $850,000. The tax credit will result in another $148 million in tax revenue for the province. People who are in the market for a home uh, in the suburbs are going to pay more than that and they're going to pay more property taxes as a result of that. The opposition says this will set Manitobans back. Yes, they're giving a bit of a rebate, but actually when you really drill down to it, it's going to be a significant um, loss to Manitobans, and I think it's going to hurt more people than it's going to help. The budget has also committed to conducting an inquiry into the construction of the Winnipeg Police Headquarters, although no timeline was provided for that. Marnie Blunt, Global News.